Richard Southern joins us once again this hour. Hey, Richard, good to see you again. Good to so a lot of us, uh, when we go to the grocery store, we actually take the time to sanitize and wipe down our groceries when we get home. But one Toronto uh, grocer has installed something that they say could make that obsolete. This is really neat. I want to show you what they're doing right now in the Summer Hill Market. This is in the annex, the Summer Hill Market. They have installed in here, Janella, a machine. There it is, that it called the X Germinator that sanitizes your groceries using UV light. So the cashier scans them. It then goes along a conveyor belt, and the UV light breaks down COVID-19 at a cellular level. So it destroys COVID-19 and any other harmful bacteria in there. Kind of looks like... Uh, you know, the x-ray scanner uh, at the airport. Uh, groceries come out the other end, you bag them up, you take them home, and we're good to go. We caught up with the machine's co-founder. The response has been uh, really good. Uh, people seem really delighted and relieved to not have to feel, to feel some reassurance that they can take their groceries home and maybe not wipe them down as thoroughly and be as nervous about it. So Janella, they're just testing this out on the one cash register. You know, the I, I'm guilty of it too. I'm, you know, wiping down groceries when we when I get home at the grocery store. The health officials say you probably don't have to do that, but you know you worry about it. I think stores are going to have to address that worry, whether it's real or not. So don't you think we're going to maybe see a few more of those machines or something like it? Down yeah, the road? I thought it was really interesting because she, uh, I, I watched the, that interview and she said that this was just a prototype that they're testing out. They didn't even have a, a price yet. It wasn't on sale. And so I think that this pandemic is kind of going to bring out the inventors in some of us. You know, necessity is the mother invention. We're going to see all ty types of interesting tools and tricks to deal with hygiene and sanitation. Just don't shoot that UV light into your body, as a Mr. Donald Trump uh, once uh, suggested Speaking not too long ago. No. of, yes, about a month ago, Donald Trump mused about UV light to treat coronavirus patients. And it seems like those comments could be hurting his re-election hopes. Yeah, so we heard from Oxford Economics, Janella. They, every year, going back hundreds of years, try to predict the U.S. election. And they've been right every time except two times. They have a great track record. Just in February... Oxford Economics was predicting that Trump would win in a landslide in November. Now, though, Oxford Economics predicting that Trump will lose the election in a landslide. And it says it's specifically not about his comments, but it's because of the economy. The coronavirus, as we know, has taken a big toll on the U.S. economy, as it has here in Canada. And the model is basing the, the, this on, on the fact that it, the U.S. economy won't recover in time for the November vote. And therefore, it says Trump will go down and defeat. It's predicting that he's only going to win 35 percent of the popular vote. However, Janela, it says a lot of it's going to de be depending on uh, voter turnout and how many people come out to vote. But this Really, uh, coronavirus is throwing a, a wrench in the political works, hasn't it? Uh, just before the break, we saw that, that uh, story from Melissa Duggan where she had him uh, touring that plant without the mask. And when they asked him, he said, oh, yeah, I was wearing one back there. I just didn't want you to see it. Um, yeah, it's, so. it's become a, the, the coronavirus a political issue in the states, and it's probably going to be obviously the issue as Americans head to the polls in November. So uh, as, as if it wasn't fascinating enough already, the U.S. election, it's going to be even more fascinating this year. And as you said, voter turnout, right? And we don't know how coronavirus will impact those crowds. All right. Thanks yeah. so much, Richard. We'll see you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.